Matt Burney, your with Stakes Action from Los Alamitos on Saturday afternoon. Race number nine, the nightcap. It's graded stakes action, six and a half furlongs. It is the Great Lady M Stakes. Before we dive into the field, head on over to bets.drf.com. Take a look at the latest and greatest as far as new sign-up offers are concerned, existing customer offers, whatever the case may be. You name it, you've got it. Bets.drf.com is the address. Let's take a look at the field that will be going six and a half furlongs. These are Phillies and Mares, three-year-olds and up. All eyes on the number two, Marley's Freedom. Also, all eyes on the number three, Anonymity. They are the two best horses in the race, by all accounts. Uh, let's start with Marley's Freedom, highest last out buyer in the field with a 95. You take a look at all of her figures. They all fit in here. Uh, the win at Los Alamitos sort of checks that box where you don't have to worry about the whole horse or course thing because, as we've said for years now, Los Alamitos can be a little bit of a hit or miss situation. Some horses take to it. Some horses don't. Marley's Freedom, she's already proven that she can handle it. You look at it from a distance standpoint. Six and a half is not an issue for her. And from a class standpoint, she's been keeping good company. Me and Mischief, I know the buyer regressed, but she was a next out winner with an 86 buyer exiting that Humana Distaff. Simply put, if she runs her race, she's probably going to win. If not her, maybe it's anonymity. Anonymity ran her eyeballs out in the Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Sprint last year, uh, which came back to ultimately be one of the, the most live races. Uh, or, uh, let's put it this way. One of the most live additions of the Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Sprint that we've seen. Uh, five next out winners coming out of there. I thought she ran really well. Granted, she had a big pace to run at, uh, but she nearly got all the money. Finished third, only beaten by a neck. You figure an effort similar to that puts her right there in the thick of things. The problem is that was the last time we saw her. I don't know if she can be ready to go for a race like this, or is this nothing more than a means to an end? Get her ready for Del Mar. They've got the Rancho Bernardo down there. They've got some other big races as well. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what you get. Flavia and Pratt takes them out here. That's always an encouraging sign. If you're looking at it from a speed standpoint, let's take a look at the Time Form US pace projector because they have anonymity relatively close, but they have the four Danuska's My Girl out there on the front end, trained by Jerry Hollendorfer. Uh, the problem I have with Danuska's My Girl, the most recent run, she had to dig in very, look, she was game. Going to give her the benefit of the doubt there. She beat a field of three, including herself. So two other horses. Uh, the run, two starts back in Las Flores. She got out there on a day where no one seemed to want to go. Nobody was really making up any ground from the back with the exception of Emboldened. I feel like she has had things go her way in each of these past two races. Now, maybe it'll happen again here, but she is facing a world of different animal in a horse like Marley's Freedom or a horse like Anonymity. I just think Danuska's my girl is going to need to run the race of her life. Just a smidge. She is not listed on the pace projector for some reason, but I believe, or at least toward the front, she has one way to go. All three of her wins have come in gate to wire fashion. I know the turn back and distance. Maybe that's why Time Form US doesn't believe she'll be that close. I don't think there's any question. She goes from the inside. She pushes the pace early on. I don't like her chances to stick around late, uh, but I think you'd know where she will be early on. She does have a victory at Los Alamitos, though. The number five, show it and mow it. Another one of the more honest horses in this race goes out for Gary Sherlock. Basically, you take a look. You know what you're going to get. Based on her last four races, probably going to get an 87 buyer. And I think that's pretty accurate. You look at a career best figure of 88. She's 6 of 21 lifetime, 10 other times in the money. You know she is honest as the day is long. The problem is she's just not her, her best, her best fastball. If Marley's Freedom can throw 100 miles an hour, Show it and mow it can throw about 92. She just does not have that same gear. Now, if the other girls regress, show it and mow it is right there and she can take advantage. To me, she's best used underneath. Uvetsi upset the apple cart in the Rancho Bernardo last summer at Del Mar. Uh, she got the job done at odds of 9-1, to one, defeated anonymity, and you see some of the other names on her page. You see Sky Diamonds. You see, obviously, the horses that she's run against most recently in that little three-horse race, the Desert Stormer. Uh, Uvetsi, on her best day, can occasionally reach back and throw 100 miles an hour. The problem is it doesn't happen very often, uh, and I do feel like this could potentially be a means to an end. Get a race into her, get her ready for Del Mar, think that you have a chance to go back and repeat in that Rancho Bernardo. And we wrap things up on the far outside with the seven exuberance for Ian Krulljack, another turn back here candidate. Uh, the fifth place finisher in that most recent race, that was the grade two Santa Maria, uh, came back and earned an 81 on turf that was tapped. I think exuberance is a nice horse if you want to use a horse underneath. Perhaps it's her. I just don't know that she's going to have the pace that she needs to really set her up to win this thing. Uh, she's 0 for 2 at Los Alamitos thus far, one time hitting the board. So that's a little bit of a concern, just again, because Los Al can be a little bit on the quirky side. But if you're playing any sort of a deeper exotic, maybe Exuberance is one to use underneath. Let's take a look and see where I decided to go in here. I'm not getting cute. I think it's the favorites. Marley's Freedom. I have no real interest in trying to beat her. Uh, yes, she's probably going to be 2 to 5 somewhere in that ballpark. Frankly, I just think she's the best horse in the race. Anonymity's best race, I suppose, gives her a puncher's chance. But there is a part of me that feels like we may need to see a race before we get her best, whether it's at Del Mar, whether it's somewhere else down the road. 
I use them one and two, and I'll use Show and Mo in third, just because, again, I think she is just one of the more honest horses in the race. She'll give you what she's got. Might not be good enough to win, but I think she can be right there to get a piece of this thing. So two, three, five for me in the nightcap at Los Alamitos on Saturday, the grade two great lady M. You're playing this race, any of the other races at Los Al Saturday, DRF Bets is the way to do it. Bets.drf.com is the address. All the details are over there. New sign-up members, existing members, whatever it may be. Bets.drf.com. Schedule post time for race number nine at Los Al Saturday afternoon, 4.58 Pacific. Good luck.